Meet the Swedish Lapphund, the dog with the world's friendliest bark. Well, at least if you're a reindeer. The Lapp is actually for Lapland, or the northern extremes of Sweden, Finland, and Norway, where the nomadic Sami people put Swedish Lapphunds to work herding reindeer. Archaeologists recently unearthed a 7,000-year-old Lappy skeleton in Norway. The Swedish Lapphund is probably one of the oldest breeds of dogs. And they're very rare. There's probably only about, I would say, five to 10 of them in America right now. Swedish Lap Huns are part of the Spitz family, along with Akitas, Alaskan Malamutes, and Siberian Huskies. All these dogs have a wolfy look with pointed ears and long muzzles. Like many other Spitz type dogs, they were generally developed in areas of the world that are very cold. A long, thick, double layered coat protects Lappies from northern exposure. Coat color is always sheer black or brown, though sometimes a white patch appears on the chest. They actually bred them to have the black or brown bear coat coloring so it would stand out against the snow. The Swedish Lapphund's compact square body stands slightly under medium sized. A real dog of a dog. <laughs> this breed has also developed a trait that sets it apart as a reindeer herder. A special high-pitched bark. It generates the sound by pushing air through the diaphragm like a syringe plunger and constricting the throat and vocal cords while exhaling to create the right pitch. The result is a bark that encourages the reindeer to move while also saying that the dog is not a predator. I would suspect that part of that is due to the fact that the reindeer are growing up with the Swedish Lapphunds from when their little baby reindeer get more accustomed to the dogs and vice versa. They may have solid reindeer herding credentials, but it's the Swedish Lapphunds' huge heart that's renewing interest in the breed. From chasing reindeer in the cold to warming our hearts, this is a dog that loves to please. But bring a Swedish Lapphund into a home with a big yard and a temperate climate. They have a very dense coat, and that means they might not be the best dogs for a very warm climate, let's say Miami. This breed is relatively healthy, but watch out for retinal atrophy. It's an eye disorder, which leads to uh, vision loss. That long coat requires some time-consuming, regular grooming, especially when it sheds. Like all Spitz-type dogs, Lappies enjoy work. But an independent spirit means they like to figure things out for themselves and may challenge trainers. The Lappy is gaining a great reputation as a wonderful family dog in its native Scandinavia. So in general, the Swedish Lapphund needs space and won't do well in a hot climate. They're generally healthy, but prone to retinal atrophy. The Lappy's long coat must be brushed out regularly. It's a highly trainable dog, but likes to work independently and it's becoming known more and more as a wonderful family dog. <laughs>